Hey guys, welcome back to another video of CDV and today we are going to be talking about how you can lower your input delay and boost your FPS a little bit in Fortnite. Now, I'm just saying I'm very sorry for not uploading. I spent, I basically took a week off, then I went on holiday, then I basically took a, like another week and a like week off. I am sorry. Honestly, I just felt a bit burnt out and I wasn't playing Fortnite at the time. I've been playing GTA. If you watch my streams, you can basically I stream uh, every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Um, please tune into them streams. Just basically watch me play some other games. I'll play Fortnite. I might not play Fortnite. Doesn't matter. Anyway, guys, so today in this video, we're going to be talking about the ISLC method. The ISLC method is a great way to reduce input delay. It's basically like time resolution, but with a few extra uh, possibilities or things to do. And it just makes basically it's 20 times better than time resolution. Quickly guys, before we get into this video, I am, or I will be uploading four times a week. If we can reach 100 supporters on my credit code, I think we're around 50 supporters now. If we can get 50 more supporters on my credit code, I'll be uploading four times a week and it'll be so, so good. So please use code CDB, hashtag ad, and let's get into the video. First thing you guys wanna do to start this off is go to Google, type in, go to the link in the description, right there if you can't bother to do that. <laughs> Scroll down until you see official download here. Click that, I'm not gonna click it because I've already got it downloaded. Something will come up in the corner. Make sure to just get set that all up. And then once you're there, you'll see this. So I'll click my folder, click my folder, and then double click on the application. Okay, so you double click that and you get you get put on this page. So what you want to do for when you go on this page is you want to keep this at that number. First thing you guys want to do is leave this and make sure it's at 1024. Keep that there. And then this one where you actually have to do something it says free memory lower than and then my number there but what you want to look here is your total system memory mine's i've got 32 gigabytes of ram so i put 16,000. you just half it basically so if you have 16 gigabytes of ram you put 8,000. if you have uh eight gigabytes of ram you put 4,000. you know what i mean so make sure you do that and make sure you tick these two boxes here and then off to this side just put this to it will be on uh, one make sure to put this to 0.5 and then click that and then make sure lastly is to if you have a high-end pc with an rtx graphic card make sure to put that thousand if you don't put that 500 press start press purge standby list and it's ready and the beauty of this all you have to do is minimize it and every time you load on your pc it will start as you can see it is in the control panel so every time you load up pc it will start that is the beauty of isla okay guys so you now might be thinking why should i use isla over time resolution and purely use isla over time resolution is because there's more possibilities with isla as you sure you can you allocate how much RAM Fortnite needs on ISLA and you can also then do the timer the time resolution. This this improves your FPS and your input delay and time resolution only improves your input delay. And honestly, if I had to choose, it would be ISLA. It's just so, so much better and much more worth it. So guys, that will be the end of the video. Please make sure you like, subscribe. Also, follow my Twitch, if CDB was taken and use code CDB, hashtag ad. Thank you guys for watching. Have a brilliant day. Goodbye, goodbye guys. Hmm.